Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about editing video on iPad OS. Now, a little while ago, I made a video about editing in general on the iPad Air, and I'll link that video down in the description as well as put it in the card in one of the corners. But one of my biggest gripes with the iPad Air and video editing was the file management. It just was really cumbersome to get, especially music tracks downloaded into my timeline and LumaFusion. But with iPad OS and the updated file management system, it is just so much easier. So before iPad OS, I could not download an MP3 file to use as background track for a video on the iPad. What I would have to do is go on my desktop, go to Soundstripe, that's where I get my music from, download it to my Dropbox, and then I had to go on my iPad, go into LumaFusion, select where I want to import from, from Dropbox, then I had to download from Dropbox and store it locally on the iPad. And it was just a convoluted mess and it just isn't good and efficient. But now with iPad OS, it's completely remedied that. So all I need to do is just go to Safari, go to the website I want to visit, download the file that I want to use in my video. Say I want to download this background track, download it, and then I can select now where I want to download it. Do I want to make a new folder? Do I want to use an existing folder on my iPad, in the iCloud, on Dropbox, wherever I want to put it? I can select it and then download it. And then I can open up LumaFusion and I can select imported. And then I can click this little button here. I can import from iCloud Drive. Click browse. If you hit back on the locations, then you can select on my iPad. Now, I think this is a LumaFusion issue because it isn't easily found like files on my iPad because you have to actually click on imported, the little button right here, then you actually have to click on iCloud Drive. Even though it's not stored on iCloud Drive, you click iCloud Drive, then you hit locations, and then you can select on my iPad as well as Dropbox, Google Drive, other places. And then you can select the folder or the file that you want. And then you can add it um, to it as an imported file in LumaFusion and then add it to your timeline. So I'm hoping LumaFusion updates to have a directory specifically called on my iPad and not necessarily iCloud Drive because that's a little misleading because it took me a few minutes to figure that out. But it is just so much better, so much easier. The last couple videos I've uploaded on the vlog channel and on this channel, I, I edited in LumaFusion, um, downloaded a background track for the vlog on my iPad, used it in LumaFusion. It's just a lot better. And it's not just messing with audio that's easier, it's also easier messing with your video files on an SD card. So plug in your SD card reader with your SD card installed. Just go to the My Files app, browse, and you can see once you plug something in, it'll show up as a USB device, no name. So right now, um, my flash, or yeah, my SD card doesn't have a name, but it's showing my directory. You can search through your directory, scroll through all of your folders, and then see your files. And so file management, easily one of the best features in iPad OS. It definitely helps the workflow with video editing and makes it 100 times better, much more efficient. You can do it all from the iPad. You don't have to worry about going to another device and trying to download tracks or clips or whatever. But there is another feature in iPad OS that also helps with video editing, and that's mouse control with a wireless mouse or wired. It's kind of buried in the settings because it's almost like Apple doesn't want you to realize that it's there. They'd rather probably you have you use the Apple Pencil or something, but um, for really fine detail work, a mouse is still gonna be better than the Apple Pencil. And so if you dig in the settings, you can add a Bluetooth mouse. Um, it's kind of this huge yellow cursor. Hopefully they refine it by the end of the iPad OS beta. Um, it's a little more pleasing to look at, uh, but it's kind of an assistive touch feature. It's really not advertised, but you can still use it. And so that is, if you really like editing with the mouse, now you can use a mouse with your iPad and whatever editor you choose. And so if you're asking, does iPad OS make video editing any easier? The answer would be 100% yes. And I would definitely recommend it uh, if you are considering you know, getting an iPad to edit video. And like I said, I'll link my other video down in the description below. And I'm gonna release another video here in the next week or so about editing 4K video on the iPad and a little deeper look into LumaFusion um, as it just got released into 2.0 and just some other video editing features on the iPad because it's a really good solution. And this is just an iPad Air. This isn't even an iPad Pro. Um, and it's a really good video editing device. So if you have an iPad and you're on the iPad OS beta, let me know how it works for you and if you see any major improvements to your workflow and what your favorite feature of iPad OS is. 
Mine definitely is the file management. It is just so good um, and not enough good things can be said about it, but one thing can be said, it's about time. And so that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos, hit the bell icon if you wanna be notified whenever I upload. And all my social links are all down in the description below. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Um, we can chat there, you can ask me questions. And I always tweet about random things that are going on throughout my day. And also follow me over on Twitch. I just started streaming twice a week on Sundays and Wednesday nights around 8.30. It's t uh, Tyler Miller TV on Twitch as well. And so again, that's it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.